line up your holes start printing I'm gonna put some ink on this bad boy some paint on this bad boy just make sure you spray your adhesive Last but not least, you're going to want to put some paint on this bad boy right here. Just scoop a little spatula, get a little, uh, get, a little get a little layer across, and spray, make sure you spray your table down. Get that all sticky for your shirt or hoodie, whatever you're making. Just so y'all know, I learned how to do most of this online. So if I could do it, y'all could do it too. Um, with the help of Eddie Moon, uh, there's a couple other channels that I might even shout out. I'm even put in the listing. So peep in, peep in the description below if you want to see who helped me get as good as I am. And don't be afraid to go to your local supply shop and ask, man. You're going to spend money over there anyway. All right, man. We got the gold. Now I'm going to explain something to y'all. After I press this, I'm going to have to cure it. And the me my method of curing is a little bit cheaper. Um, I use this heat gun. And then I use a, a uh, heat press to cure. Why do I use the heat press? For a number of reasons. Actually, just the fact that the heat gun can get it there, but it's gonna take a while. And um, I bought a flash dryer, which didn't get it hot enough. And the heat press just cures it, and it gets the uh, the texture the way that I like it. So I find a benefit in using a heat press to cure. Now I use the heat gun first to pre-cure. That way, when I pull it off, it doesn't you know stain. Any anything around it or anything like that. So, um, with that being said, let's push through the gold. This is the gold. Now, first thing I did was flood it. And after you flood it, you're just gonna push it through at a 45 degree angle, okay? Make sure you hear the, the zip. Once you hear that, you know you're good to go. Boom. Boom. And there we go. That is a dark glitter. I think I should put more. Dark brown glitter. Okay. Now I forgot to tape off the bottom.
my little trick. Don't tell nobody. All right. So now, we go for the pre cure. I like to do it for a minute so what I do is I let it go for 30 seconds release it and then I'll press it again for another 30 seconds now in order to get this cured properly you're gonna want to make sure you have some parchment paper uh, set aside for this so I got a roll and it's the last of it so be grateful for every bit of equipment you got parchment paper let's go for the first cure Yee! so you've seen it from the beginning all the way up to this point we started with the emulsion removal started then went with the dehazer degreaser then we went with re-emulsion and burning the screen now We've actually gotten to the point of pressing the ink through, and here we are, curing. So, please leave any comments, like, share, everything below. Um, this is the first video of this, this kind, so if you guys like what you see, you know, get it out there. Keep watching. Woo! Wee! Ooh, wee. Oh, I'm too excited with this right now. Just wait for that second cure. Ooh, wee. I'm too excited for this. So yeah, man. I learned all this on YouTube based off of two videos and a word of advice from uh, the guy at Southwest Supply. So thank you, Art. Um, one of the biggest concerns I think was finding a proper light to cure, which all you need is a 500 watt flood light to cure for three minutes. And then you also need um, the transparent paper. You can get that printed from your, your supply store. And last but not least, the glass, the sheet of glass. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot, get a sheet of glass. Should be about 12 to 15 inches and that'll sit on top of your mesh to help uh, weigh down your art and then also to um, help burn that into the screen, okay? Woo -wee. Oh my goodness, are you serious? This is hard. Look at this, look at this. Just the shine that I wanted. You know, if you were to use just a simple flash dryer, you wouldn't get this type of shine. But the fact that I, you used the fucking, that I used the fucking heat press, the shine came out, man. Um, now, I, I have heard that if you use different sizes of the parchment paper, you will get a different result. I don't know too much about that. Do some trial and error on your own. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that. But... Check this out, man. Bitcoin. Told you so. So there you have it, folks. There you have it, folks. From beginning to end, silk screening process. I hope you like what you saw. Uh, my name is Benny Bun. Tap in or tap out. Deuces.